for this video or for these types of problems, I might ask you to find the maximum and the minimum value. Um, all right, so it's just going to ask you to determine what the max or the minimum value. So what we need to first do, like we're doing with all quadratics, is remember that all quadratics can be written in our form of ax squared plus bx plus c. So therefore, in this problem, we want to determine what our a, our b, and our c are. Right? So we did this for axis symmetry, for vertex, and all that kind of stuff. We want to determine what a, b, and c are. So our a, in this case, is negative 2. Our b is 8. And our c is 7. All right. So to determine if we have a max or a minimum, there's a test. And what our test is, it says if a is less than 0, so if your a value is less than 0, then you're going to have a, um, you're going to have a maximum point. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. If a is greater than 0, that means you're going to have a minimum point. And what does that really mean, a maximum or a minimum point? If you have a maximum point, that means your graph um, opens down. And if you have a minimum point, that means your graph opens up. All right? So what exactly does it mean? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's a difference of this. Right? We're talking about maximum and minimum points. So you guys can see, if I have a point, that's the minimum point. That's the lowest my graph goes, right? So that means my graph is going to open up. If my graph has a maximum point, that means the graph opens down. So in looking at this equation, is my graph going to open up or open, or far? Is it going to have a maximum or a minimum point? Maximum. Maximum point, right? A is less than 0 because it's negative 2. So for our example, we have a max point. That means the graph opens down. Okay. Now, the next thing is it does say to find that point. So do you guys remember what is this point? Do you guys remember what this point we call? Vertex. The vertex, right? So do you remember the formula for the vertex is it's a two-step process. The first point is opposite of b divided by 2a. Right? Opposite of b divided by 2a, which is our axis of symmetry. So this is actually kind of going back to the first problem we did. So what you do is you take opposite of, so x equals opposite of b, which is negative 8, divided by 2 times negative 2. So negative 8 divided by negative 4 is going to be a positive 2. Then y equals, you plug in this value in for your x. So to find so the x coordinate you do opposite of b divided by 2a. To find the y coordinate you plug in your x value in for x. So therefore y equals 2 squared is 4 times negative 2 is negative 8 plus 16 plus 7. y equals negative 15. So therefore my minimum value, right? My minimum value, so my vertex, is going to be not going to be the x value, but when we're talking about a minimum value, we're going to be talking about the y value. So the minimum value is going to be when x equals 2, and my minimum value will be negative 15. Or you could just write y equals negative 15. That's going to be the minimum value of your quadratic. Sometimes we write it as a vertex, as a point. Or you could say like that minimum value would be when y equals negative 15. Again, just to review, first you need to know this test. Have it written down. Basic, you can tell, oh, my graph opens. Um, I'm sorry, we're talking about maximum point, right? So this is going to be my maximum point. So my maximum point, um, since a is less than 0, my maximum point is at y equals negative 15. So that's going to be the largest point or largest value of, for my graph would be negative 15. That means everything else, like negative 15 be here, everything else is going to be going down. Okay.